Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, John Howell here. Um, in this video, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you um, a pretty simple but really, really powerful trading technique that helps you understand where major support and resistance levels are and where the market may bounce and and all that sort of stuff. So you just keep an eye on these levels here. So whenever you're trading, doesn't matter what type of trading you're doing, if you apply this technique or these these basically these sort of rules that I'm going to talk to you about in this video then you'll start to see an increase of trades that you don't take because there's not as of a high probability. Um, and then uh, also the trades that you do take, well, obviously you'll have a high probability. So that's what I'm going to cover in today's session. I am running a free training, a free love training today, guys, on my number one trading system that I trade every single day. If you are struggling with your trading right now, if you, if you find that you're doing the trading systems, you're doing the trading rooms, the live, the, the live rooms, the live trading, the subscriptions and you find like you're having a hard time, then you need to join my live training because I'm going to share with you exactly what I did to get out of that. And then I'm also going to share with you my number one trading system that you can start to apply on any market, any time frame to start moving forward in a big, big way. The very first link in the description, go join that right now. So one of the, one of the most powerful uh, sort of chart reading or trading techniques that I have discovered and I have learned is the power of long-term trend lines. So here's here's an example of a short-term trade that I did I did just I did just recently. Okay, I got out of this thing just just recently. Now, as we can see, right, we can see that we can see that the power of see how this market was coming down through here, coming down through here, coming down, and it came down. Look at this trend line through here. So notice how we actually had this this support level through here. Okay, this support level through here and this support level through here. Okay, and notice how that we had all this support level. And see, notice how it came down through here and we had this little gap through here. That's called a breakaway gap and now we're breaking up and now we're breaking up into this resistance level. So it's going to be a question whether it's going to continue breaking through or not. Um, I don't know. There was a, this, this to me was just a short term trade, meaning that I saw it bounce off this trend line. We had a nice pullback here. Then we actually had a bit of a gap and a very solid up bar with an increase in volume. I said, we're probably likely to get to this resistance level. We did the next day. I think it was only a 25, 30% profit, but, was it, but hey, it was a very, very short term trade. And that was based on what? First that we had over the last six months, we can see the last six months, we had a very nice upward trend and we went sideways. We can't look, look where it actually bounced, right? Came down to the trend line and bounced and continued up from there. If I bring up a another one through here, right? Look at this through here. Look at this trade through here. Notice how we no, notice how we um this is the trend line through here. We had a bounce through here, bounce through here, and notice how it actually came down through to here. Now, yes, you could have a lot of people say, John, why don't you have the trend line going through there? And yes, you can, right? You can, and the market continues up. But if you start to look at what's actually going on right now, you'll notice that the support and resistance level is indeed through there, right? Now, how is that valid? How is that relevant or valid? We had support, had all the support through. Look at all the resistance through there. Look what happened. Came all the way down. Look at this pullback, 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 pullback. Look what it came down to there, and then bam, had this nice up bar and a little increase in volume. Look what happened. Bam, 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 bam. Right, just continued to bounce off there, especially after this beautiful pullback and then the bounce off that trend line. So whenever you get that, that is absolutely beautiful. So whenever you're trading and you start to identify, just bring up, say, the last three months, bring up and then start to identify these areas. Okay, start to identify these areas where the market is likely to bounce. And especially if you've got a nice upward trend like we have here, high, higher, low, higher, high. If there's a higher low, guess what you're doing? You're just jumping on the trend, right? And that's where you can have a really, really, really successful trade. Now, that's obviously on the daily chart. Now, what I also do is I also look at the bigger picture as well too to make sure that I'm I'm not trading against any major resistance levels. So if I bring up a if I bring up an example PYPL, right? And what I mean by that is looking at the weekly chart and the big long-term weekly charts. Now look at this through here. Okay. Look at this through here. If I bring up my trend lines and I bring up that through there. Notice how we had the point through there. Notice how it had all the support level through here. Look what happened recently by PayPal. Came all the way down. And it bounced right off that level. Now, why did it bounce off that level there? Why did we get a bounce right at that level there? 
Interesting, right? Because this what? Because this major trend line coming up through there. It's so powerful when you get that. And as look as you can see, right? Look what happened. Had all the support, 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 support. Then we came down, we bounced, and then we bounced up higher, and then we had a nice little pullback through here, right? So this actually could be the start if we start to. If you can see, actually, you know what? Let me do this here. So if I bring up the last, say, the last three months, or the last six months. We can see by the last six months, look what's been happening through here, right? We can see how it came down. Anyone that's trying to short PayPal would have got slammed through here. Now, if you were just looking at, the, say, the last couple of months and you saw this breakout bar through, you'd be like, oh, this thing's getting ready to drop down. But if you check the long-term chart, you're like, hang on a minute. This is just having a pullback through here. We're right at this major support level. It may or may not go through. Therefore, it's a lower probability trade, right? So you wouldn't want to get in that as it's breaking down. And so as you can see, right, if I go back to back to that six month view, you can see what's happening through here. We've got a nice little resistance broke down, but we popped straight back up as you can see, like a little little gap up through it. I think that was that was isn't that interesting? Right there, came right to that trend line just before I think that was earnings. Uh, or or news or something like that, right? The market bounced off. Now it's coming back down to almost close its gap. Guess what? Guess what? This this guess what? This could start to be. This could actually be a bit of a trend reversal, right? So if we start to get a nice little sort of higher low through here, and we start to get back above these highs, then we're probably likely to run right back up to the 120 level, right? Because we have a high, a lower high, a higher high. We could expect some sort of high low through here, and if we get a nice little sort of up bar, there could be there could be a nice little nice little uh, nice little move. Uh, and then the buyers coming back in through here. Make sense? And there's also, if we look at, say, McDonald's here. McDonald's, again, using the example of the long-term trend line. Look at this here. Support. Look at all that support level through there. And look what happened just recently on McDonald's. Look what happened. It came all the way down, 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 down. And look what happened. And look where it bounced. Now, I'm not saying that trend line is going to hold forever. Like, it doesn't mean, oh, it's definitely going to hold forever that it bounces up. That's not like that. But when the market comes down here, just like PayPal, right? You got to be careful about these times when the market does. As you can see, like this this little gap here, that was like a bit of an exhaustion gap. We had a little gap here, more like a bit of a breakaway gap, and then exhaustion gap through here. Then the market, then the market sort of bounced back up through here. So we're right at that support level right now. Isn't it interesting? It's like, oh, why did it bounce that one nine level? It bounced off. It's like, yeah, because you've got that long term support level. So this actually could be. We could be starting to see potentially maybe maybe a move up now on McDonald's because we have been going down for quite some time and we've had a very nice pullback. So are we getting ready? Are we getting ready to maybe have something like this, like an oil breakout bar, and then maybe a continue continuation, right? Support all the support, all the support level through there. So. In a nutshell, guys, whenever you're trading, okay, whenever you're trading, always look at, say, if I look at PODD, all right, always be looking at these sort of last, say, six months, six months, uh, maybe even a bit longer if you have to, to try to get where is the major levels of support. So that was the major level of support, and this is the major level of resistance. I noticed how it came down support, went sideways, came down, came down, came down, and then bam, gapped up. This little gap here, time is a bit of a breakaway gap. I was happy to trade that. It ran up to the resistance level. That's all it was for me because I'm I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna try and hold and hope it's gonna break through. It was just a little gap, little short term trade. But hey, guys, you know, when I say thirty percent return, you know, if you're trading ten or twenty grand, you know, that's quite a nice little trade for. Again, I I trade you know half an hour an hour in the morning my time because I live in Australia, and. Um, you know, and then I put I put the trade on yesterday, and then came back towards this morning, watched the last hour of market close, and got out. You know, now and then had, it's 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 a really really nice way. And again, like on that live training, the very first thing description, I'm going to walk you through how I look at the markets and so on and so forth. So I hope that hope that helps you out there, guys. This is one awesome trading technique that you can use amongst any markets out there. It doesn't matter what you're using, and you can start to identify. This is all about stuck and starting to stack the odds on your side and having probability stacked on your side, you know, even more. And once again, when you start to get when you start to get like a really, really, really nice uh, sort of a nice pullback like here, and then a nice you get a nice sort of say over the last say three months, last three months you get a nice little upward trend, especially when you got the moving average pointing up as well too, very nicely. See how it pointed up through here? Then it went flat, then we pointed up through there, so very nicely pointing up at the moving average. And we've got this nice high, 
high, low, high. It came down, look at all this pullback here, small little bars, and then we had this nice little up bar, and that was the continuation move from there. If you look at these types of trades, very nice upward trend, pullback here, small bars, a nice little breakaway bar with good volume. It's just, a, it's a jumping on the trend. It's a, it's a not waiting for the pullback and then jumping on that trend. So it's a trend continuation move. So these are the sort of things, guys, that on the daily charts, like like right here, this is the daily charts. If you can get something where the market's right on a support level and it comes down and then it bounces off and gives you a nice little what we call a bullish update, which means it opens and closes in opposite thirds um, and a bit of volume behind it going with that trend. It's a very, very, very high probability trade. And then on the flip side, you want to make sure you check in that weekly chart to say, okay, where are we in the scheme of things? Where are we? What's really going on through here? Um, and so on and so forth. Make sense? So that's that's basically what you wanna that's basically what you wanna be looking at through there. And again, guys, very first link in the description if you'd like to learn more about um, more about if you are struggling with your trading right now and you'd like to learn more about my trading system and the way that I trade the markets and how I use technology to find these within an hour, only trading an hour per day, then make sure you join that web class in the very first link in the description below. Before you go, I am giving away a free trial to the Master Trader Lab with all the different trading courses you can see on the screen right now. So go to mastertraderlab.com right now. I'm running a special over the next few days. So go to mastertraderlab.com to get a free trial to all the different trading courses you can see on the screen right now. So go to mastertraderlab.com.